Hey everybody. So after my video from the other day about certain informations about logo design, I decided to make a short video on the logo process, I guess, to kind of explain, not in details, because there's things you don't really need to understand, but simply give you an idea of what are the steps that we take to get to a proper logo concept for your business? So the first step, quite amazing, uh, this is the mood board. So basically the mood board is our ideas put into one. So we take every little brainstorming session concept that we can think of and we bring them all together to give you a visual of where we're heading. So in this mood board I actually laid out two fonts, a color palette, and three pictures that were kind of the general idea of where I was going with this logo. So as you can see it's called Sam Sweet Chili Sauce Co. It's going to be a chili sauce. In this case I really went basic. This was my first creative brief that I did on Briefbox, which is a website that offers fictional concept ideas. So it was really quick. I didn't do much research. I This was in the beginning of logo design for me. So, But the first thing that I did do was a mood board. It's the right step to do. <clears throat> Um, the next step is, of course, sketching out your ideas. This step, right now I only have one. <laughs> you have to understand that there's more than one drawing. Many drawings. There could be up to 60 drawings. Just to give you an idea, that's how far your designer is going to sketch in research. Research is important. Your design is important to us and we want to make sure that your values and your message are respected when we're creating it. Um, in this case, they wanted it to be organic, 100% British, with a modern twist. So that's what I did. So I made the drawing, I scanned it, and then I went and I vectorized. So this is the vectorized version. Um, vectorized simply means that no matter how much you scale it, it, you won't see small pixels. It's really just, you can put it a thousand percent bigger, you can put it 25% big, and it's still gonna keep the same aspect. Um, usually when we are showing a design to a client, it's all black and white. It's never with colors, so please, if you're getting a design from somebody that's saying they are a designer, a graphic designer, and they're already showing you colors, they're giving you five different designs, it should pop red flags in your head. This does not necessarily mean it's a bad thing and it's their fault. This just means there's something wrong somewhere. Either your brief is not clear and your designer doesn't know where they're going, or your designer just doesn't have the right tools to create what you want them to create. It's just keep in mind that if somebody shows you five, six, seven logo concepts, it means they don't have enough confidence to go through their designs and pick like two that they're that they like just keep that in mind so once the logo is vectorized now it's time to head on to the color so in this brief i i had to make three different types of sauce so we have sweet and mild we have medium hot and we have super spicy so you can see i just coordinated my colors with it pretty simple. It's pretty much the same visual everywhere. I wasn't trying to be unique in this case. I was just trying to create something that could easily compete with other chili sauces. Sorry, I forgot the word. After that, we offer mock-ups. Now, mock-ups are an easy way to show the client what 
it's going to look like on a finished product. Now keep in mind, mock-ups are generally just for show. It doesn't mean that your product will come out exactly that way, but usually designers are going to do everything they can to make it come out that way. Uh, we talk to printers, we ask them, can you do this? If they can't, okay, can you help me figure out a way that I can tell my client that it's not going to be the same thing, but it's going to be closer to this. If somebody is just handing you a logo without knowing how the print is going to come out, it's another red flag. You need to ask yourself these questions. You also need to ask the other person, is it going to print out properly? Because your logo needs to be able to be seen on small products, big products. In this case, uh, Sam's Sweet Chili Sauce wasn't made to be a tiny, 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 tiny logo. So the fonts that I picked were a reflection of that. This was always going to be a big logo. It's not made to be small. Um, you're not going to see a small pin of it. It's If it's printed on a t-shirt, it's going to be three inches by three inches. So I'm not too worried about it. But once again, this was a logo that I made a couple of years ago. It's not perfect. It's far from perfect and that's okay. It's, I keep working on it. But that doesn't mean that the process isn't the same for other graphic designers. So from scratch, mood board, drawings, vectorize, black and white, color coordination, mock-up. Those are five steps just there. So if you're wondering why a graphic designer is charging you a big amount of money, you have to take into consideration the time that they spend on each step. If you do not want them to do a mood board per se, you can offer to do the research yourself. That means finding logos that you like, finding logos that you don't like, making color palettes yourself, finding fonts that you like, all of this stuff and create your own mood board. You will save time for the graphic designer and you will save time for yourself, which means lower costs. I would suggest against it because most graphic designers know where they're heading with your logo concept. They research more than just that part. They really look into other companies, the competition, and all that fun stuff that maybe you, you don't necessarily think about. So it's important to talk to them, make sure you know what you're heading into, and have a good budget for it. So that's all the time I have for tonight, and I hope you really enjoyed this video and you learned a couple of things that you can share with others around you who are thinking about getting a logo design. I'll have more videos like these in the future, and so just, if you actually appreciate it, just give it a like, and I'll know that the content is actually being watched, and it's something that you enjoy. Thanks a lot, and have a good evening.